everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Or Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you. All right, let us go ahead, you all, and jump right into the reading. Let us see what the messages are this Spirit has here for you on today. Feminine, listen to your intuition. Trust what it is that your intuition is telling you when it comes to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you may feel like that person is on the DL or like they're not sure what their sexuality is. Trust what it is that you feel, all right, regardless of how that goes, whether that's somebody that we're, you know, interested in romantically or whether that's somebody that you are friends with and you feel like that person might be looking at you a little, okay, just trust what it is that you're feeling. We have communicate. All right, communicate. There could be communication coming in here. Somebody wants for you to forgive them. They want to work something out with you. They want to compromise, come to the middle ground, okay? We have sexuality again, all right? So someone is still figuring themselves out. They're not 1,000% sure what it is that they want, what they're into, okay? This could be why somebody's been keeping you at a standstill or keeping you at a distance, okay? moving you could be thinking about moving in with this person things feel pretty serious between you and them okay for those of you who are in same sex relationships or situations okay you and this person are moving in together but they may still not 1000 percent be sure of if this is what they want to do and that may be bothering you you know you're like okay you want to be with me or are you still not sure because if you're not sure then we can't do this i need somebody that's 100 percent sure and that's all the way in it with me all right so take it however it resonates with you all right, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse and we have the Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody here feels like they could be thinking too much about it because if you love the person, you will love them regardless. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You ever seen those people that argue only to stay or that get into a huge ass fight just to not go nowhere? So if you know that you're going to be with your person, just stay with your person and work through your issues privately is what Blue is saying. You don't have to tell everybody. You don't have to put everybody in your business. If you're going to be with your person, everybody don't need to know what y'all have going on. Okay. It says find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Don't stress. Communicate. Let it be known. Listen, is this what you want or is it not what you want? Okay. Because. This person wants to be with you here again with the moving five of wands, but they could be going through internal conflict. They don't know if they really want this or not. So they need to speak up before the two of you move forward. But with the ace of wands, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough. Okay. You're going to see something for what it is, or they're going to, like I said, you know, communicate, express themselves. You're going to go from there. Now, three of wands and the five of pentacles in the very near future, you could be blocking something out, blocking someone out. Six of Pentacles because they keep giving you a little bit here, a little bit there, and you don't know what's going on. Okay? Move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Look what's underneath that. I didn't even know that. And then right underneath that, we have Narcissist. Some of you feel like one of the challenges here is that somebody only thinks about themselves, what it is that they want, what it is that they feel. You know, they want you to be there when they come back, but where are they coming back from? For some of you, like I said, a person could be trying to figure out what their sexuality is. Dibbling and dabbling. Okay? Four of Swords. Your peace has been disturbed dealing with this situation, okay? For some of you, this could be a karmic lesson, a karmic test that you need to pass. Once you pass it, you're going to get everything that you want. Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Just be mindful, okay? Also, I'm getting hobo sexuality because Five of Pentacles with that Three of Wands, Three of Wands is, you know, the gift of foresight. You might see that something isn't going to work out. Trust what it is that you feel. Again, trust your intuition. We have the hermit. Hermit is ghosting. Okay, you might feel like somebody's going to ghost you. The king of pentacles. You're very secure. You're very reliable. Or this could be a king of pentacles that you feel like is going to ghost you. Okay, somebody, again, they just keep saying, don't know what their sexuality is. Don't know what their sexuality is. King of swords, there's that air sign. All right, there could be somebody dealing with an air sign. Okay, they could, be, they could have been dealing with this person on and off. Did somebody have a hard time letting go of? Okay, it could have been their first, you know, same-sex experience or something like that. There's something going on there with that energy. We have an Empress here and we have a King of Swords. I mean, an Ace of Swords. You are going to get the truth very, very soon, feminine. Okay? Very, very soon. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, Knight of Wands is quick action, but it's also sexual energy. All right, the Ace of Swords. You're going to see very soon what somebody's sexuality is. Trust what it is that you feel. Some of you feel like your person might be bisexual and they just don't say that. 
or again, they're not sure what it is that they want, what they're into, what they like, what they want to do, but you feel something intuitively. You know it, so trust it. You got the Eight of Pentacles, all right? I feel like you're a hard worker. Everything that you have, you worked hard for. You don't want anybody to come in and fuck it up. Okay, we got the Death card. We have the Nine of Wands. Okay, Nine of Wands is um, abuse, okay? Somebody could have been going through an abusive situation when they were younger. As a child, they could have grew up like that, so they hide their truth from people. They don't want to be abused, okay? It could also be something that's frowned upon in their culture or something like that. You got the Nine of Pentacles. You're single. You're independent. It looks like you're going to be moving on from this energy. They're not able to give you what it is that you are looking for, okay? We have the lovers here. There's a divine counterpart coming in, and we have justice, all right? I feel like you have... A karmic that you need to move on from. Person doesn't even know what their sexuality is. The moment you move on from them and learn this lesson, complete this test, you're going to meet your divine counterpart. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Yep, got the sun card. You're going to be very, very happy. Top that off. So just let the chips fall where they may. You know, let everything happen as it needs to. What's this? Three of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. What is this? Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles. You're the Empress. In the very near future, you're going to be blocking somebody out. They're worried, okay? That's probably why they didn't want to tell you the truth about their sexuality. They were afraid you were going to block them out. I feel like you're blocking them out because they didn't tell you the truth and you had to find out a different way. We have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, now somebody wants to come in and reveal their truth to you. It's too late now. Because you're like, no, if you could lie, you could steal. If you could steal, you could cheat. You could do any of that. You could kill. We got the Eight of Wands here. You just don't trust the person. They want to communicate with you. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, you freed yourself from this. You don't want to deal with this person. Nine of Pentacles. You're just going to be single. Ten of Cups until what it is that you want arrives. Because it is coming. All right. It is definitely coming. There's a reading that I have that I'm going to post a little bit later. Check that out. Okay. Definitely coming for you. We got the King of Wands here. Excuse me. Knight of Wands. Okay. The Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. But you're freeing yourself quickly. All right. Six of Cups, Five of Wands. Somebody's very immature, petty, childish. Two of Cups. This is soulmate, a karmic soulmate of yours that was confused about their sexuality. Okay. Because of you, you being the way that you are, you make them want to be on the straight and narrow. But this person doesn't feel like they're on the straight and narrow. They like what they like, and that's okay. But I don't think you can get jiggy with that. You got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're emotionally withdrawing from it. You're pulling away. You're not interested. I'm also getting something about somebody liking to, to, uh, whew, to like have sex with people that are way younger than them or something like that. It's like damn near pedophilia or something like that. Okay. You got the Strength card. Okay. You, you know, some of you, your person is coming in. They could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Double emphasis on Leo. We got the Six of Cups, okay? Six of Cups is a past life energy, okay? And the Ace of Cups, okay? There's a love offer coming in here for you from a past life lover, all right? Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, okay? This could be the person right here as well. Could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Gonna come as a complete shock to you, okay? But this person comes offering love, truth, honesty, everything that you feel you didn't get in the other situation. Yeah. Okay, there was a lot of abuse and difficulty, hardship dealing with that person. It's because they were going through things inside. They didn't know who they were. Okay, Lord. Whew. Mm -hmm. Some of these messages. <clears throat> We have claim your art, okay? Some of you need to put your name and your stamp on things, okay? Claim your art. Sue people if you have to. <laughs> we have forgive and forget, okay? Forgive this person for they didn't know what they were doing. You don't have to be with them, though. You don't have to be their experiment. They don't know what they want. Tell them to try it out with another person. Focus on success. Focus on the things that you want in life. This Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of Cups, this Divine Union. Count your blessings because you're going to get them going to get everything that you want speak up for yourself okay be an advocate for yourself at the very least okay reach for the stars go after the things that you want that you desire you deserve them okay you deserve all of those great things brand new beginning coming here for you okay 
brand new beginning, brand new financial opportunities and blessings, commitment. All right, we have devotion, okay? Commitment, loyalty, dedication, and collaboration. Somebody that wants to be with you for real. A very courageous person. Somebody that's resilient, has a lot of backbone. Okay? Could have been through a lot, but they are ready for what you're ready for. We have imagination. Okay? Somebody with a vivid imagination. Okay? King of Swords. They're very discerning, well-mannered. They're a logical individual. Okay? It says, trust me, there won't be anyone who can love you better. Okay? This person that's coming in, they use their mind. Logic is here twice, okay? Yeah, that might turn you on. You might be somebody that is attracted to that, sapiosexual style, <laughs> okay? Withdrawal, yeah, you're walking away from people that, you know, again, that you have to question, okay? And we have pleasure here as the underlining, all right? So this was one of those readings that was like, ooh, <laughs> But it was fun, okay? We have romance, thrill, sex, and creativity, okay? I feel like that's how you're going to be with this person that you're walking away from. Like, well, that was fun, you know? All right, so I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and agrees.